वेलकम टू माय मैथ्स क्लास सिक्स्थ क्लास मैथमेटिक्स सेमिस्टर टू फ्रैक्शंस यस्टरडे वी स्टार्टेड सॉल्विंग द प्रॉब्लम्स इन एक्सरसाइज 7.5 एंड द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम आई सॉल्व नाउ द सेकंड प्रॉब्लम इज सॉल्व सब एडिशंस एंड सबट्रैक्शंस आर गिवन सो फर्स्ट वन 1 by 18 plus 1 by 18 दिस इज अ लाइक फ्रैक्शन देयरफॉर ये द कॉमन डिनोमिनेटर कम्स and the numerators are added therefore 1 by 18 plus 1 by 18 is equal to 1 plus 1 by 18 that is 2 by 18 both the numerator and denominator are divided by 2 therefore this is equal to 2 divided by 2 by 18 divided by 2 is equal to 1 by 9 so first question answer 1 by 9 next b This is also these two are like fractions. Therefore, we can simply add uh, uh, the numerators, and the same denominator comes. So, eight plus three by fifty is equal to eleven by fifty. There is no common factor for eleven and fifteen. It is in its uh, simplest form. Therefore, that is the answer. B. Next is C. Subtraction, but uh, like fractions. Both are like fractions. therefore we can do the subtraction easily uh, same denominator comes and the numerators are subtracted like this smaller number from the greater number 7 minus 5 by 7 is equal to 2 by 7 that is it next uh, b 22 is the denominator and uh, The numerators are added. One plus twenty-one is equal to twenty-two by twenty-two. Same, both the denominator and numerator are, are the same. Therefore, this is equal to one whole. All the parts are taken. The equal parts twenty-two. All the parts are taken. Therefore, it is equal to one. If the numerator is equal to denominator, the value of that fraction is equal to one. Next, uh, F, A, B, C, D, E. Subtraction, same denominator. Therefore, twelve minus seven. Twelve by fifteen minus seven by fifteen is equal to twelve minus seven by fifteen. Twelve minus seven is five. Five by fifty. These two are divisible by five. Therefore, if we divide by both by five, we get one by two. Therefore. 12 by 15 minus 7 by 15 is equal to 1 by 3. Next, f 5 by 8 plus 3 by 8. We can do it to both only. 5 by 8 by plus 3 by 8 is equal to 8 is the denominator. And if numerators are added, 5 plus 3 8. 8 by 8. 8 by 8 is equal to 1. Next, g come to this problem. 1 minus 2 by 3. Here in the second fraction, the denominator is three. Therefore, write this one as a fraction having denominator three. Therefore, we can write it as a three by three. For our convenience, we can write it uh, one as a fraction having the denominator of the other fraction. As it is equal to one, the same must be as the numerator. Therefore, three by three minus two by three. That is equal to Common denominator three, three by two is equal to one, one by three. So one minus two by three is equal to one by three. Next, uh, h, one by four plus zero by four. Zero by anything is equal to zero. Zero means there is nothing. If it is divided, there is nothing. Therefore, one by four plus zero, zero by four is zero, is equal to one by four. Next, uh, i. Subtraction three by three minus twelve by five. Three minus twelve by five. This we have to convert this number as a fraction whose denominator is five. So we will multiply this. First we can write it as three by one minus twelve by five. Now we write this fraction as A fraction having denominator five, that is, that we get by multiplying both numerator and denominator by five. 
therefore that is equal to multiplying by 5, 3 into 5 by 1 into 5 minus 12 by 5. That is equal to 3, 5, 15 by 5 minus 12 by 5 is equal to 5, 15 by minus 12, 15 minus 12 is 3, therefore this is equal to 3 by 5. Therefore, for this question, I, the answer is 3 by 5. 3 minus 12 by 5 is equal to 3 by 5. That is the second question. Next, coming to the third question. Shubham painted two-thirds of the wall space in his room. His sister Madhavi helped and painted one-third of the wall space. How much did they paint together? Her sister helped and painted one-third of the wall space. Her sister helped one-third of the wall space. How much did they paint together? So we have to add. So one painted two-thirds of the wall and her sister painted one-third of the wall. Therefore, together they painted 2 by 3 plus 1 by 3. That is equal to 3 common denominator. 2 plus 1 are the numerators. 3 by 3. 3 by 3 is equal to 1. So, together they painted the whole wall. Find the missing fractions. Find the missing fraction. A, 7 by 10 minus dash is equal to 3 by 10. So, we take the like fractions. We find the like fractions. Therefore, the same denominator came. Therefore, 7 minus dash is equal to 3. 7 minus 4 is equal to 3. Therefore, 7 minus 10 minus uh, 4 by 10 is equal to 3 by 10. That is here. The answer is 4 by 10. 7 by 10 minus 4 by 10. If 7 minus 4 is equal to 3, and this is equal to Next B dash minus 3 by 21 is equal to 3 by 21. 3 by 20. Same from which 3 by 21 subtracts, we get 3 by 20. So 6, if we subtract 6 from uh, 3 from 6, we get 3. Therefore, this is 6 by 21. 6 by 21 minus 3 by 21 is equal to 3 by 21. Next, dash minus 3 by 6 is equal to 3 by 6. Same, 6 by 6. Minus 3 by 6 is equal to 3 by 6. But the 6 by 6 means, 6, 6 by 6 means 1. Or we can write it as 1 minus 3 by 6 is equal to 3 by 6. Next, dash plus 5 by 27 is equal to 12. 12 by 27. As the denominators are the same, we get the, we write the like fraction and we have to get 12. So 7, 7 plus 5 is equal to 12. Therefore 7 by 27 plus 5 by 27 is equal to 12 by 27. Or in another way, this 12 by 27 minus 5 by 27 uh, minus uh, 5 by 27 is equal to dash. So this is a 27, 12 minus 5. So 12 minus 5, 7, 7 by 27. Like that also we can do 7 by 27. Next, that's our next problem. Um, so coming to the fifth problem, Javed was given 5 seventh of a basket of oranges. What fraction of oranges was left in the basket? The total oranges is considered as a one whole. The, so the basket of oranges is considered as a whole. And from this five seventh of the part, five seventh of uh, the basket of oranges was given to Javed. So, uh, the fraction of oranges given to him is 5 seventh. Therefore, the fraction of oranges left is equal to total oranges one whole minus fraction of oranges given to Javed. Therefore, 1 minus 5 by 7. Now, we put 1 as 7 by 7. Because the other fraction is having 7 as a new denominator, 
we write it like this. If it is having 6 as denominator, we write as 6 by 6. So here 7 as denominator, we write it as 7 by 7 minus 5 by 7. That is equal to 7 minus 5 is equal to 2 by 7. So the fraction of all this left in the basket is 2 by 7. So let us verify it. The fraction of oranges given to the job is 5 by 7. The fraction of oranges left 2 by 7. Therefore, total oranges is equal to 5 by 7 plus 2 by 7. That is 7. 5 plus 2 is equal to 7 by 7 is equal to 1 whole for one whole basket. Okay, we will continue in the next class.